It's been three years in the making, but Memphis River Parks Partnership, or MRPP, is looking forward to beginning a major project of reimagining the city's front door. But Memphis in May is still not sold on what's planned. It feels like it's real, and I think this is going to be the sparkling anchor of a really transformed riverfront. After years of negotiations, mediation, and getting permits, the head of MRPP says it's now ready to break ground and building a new Tom Lee Park. But she says it was not an easy process. The other big hurdle was just um, tweaking the design as we go, getting it in the budget, raising the money. Another hurdle, getting MRPP and the Memphis and May Festival to both agree on the park's redesign. Things were so contentious, a mediator had to intervene until both sides signed off on the final plan. That was great because that gave us a set of written constraints, right? Memphis and May needs this much space in this configuration to put on a festival. Memphis and May says it'll have to keep tabs on construction, and the festival remains concerned about parking, saying it had no say in a decision to lower unmetered spaces from 130 to 68. Coletta says there's plenty of parking to fulfill the need. I think in a downtown area, what you see is that people park once and then they walk. Construction begins this Thursday and is expected to be completed by April 2023 if construction remains on time. A temporary location for other things in between, such as Music Fest, has yet to be decided. Reporting in downtown Memphis, Caitlin McCarthy, Local 24 News.